ਸੀ ਤੋਂ ਦੂਜੇ ਸੀ ਬਾਦੇ ਦੇ ਤਾ ਤੋ ਤਿੰਨ ਤੋਂ ਤੇਰਾ ਤਿੰਨ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋਦੇ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋ ਖੋਆ ਦੇ ਗੋਮ ਨੇ ਰੰਗ ਸਿੰਦਰ ਕੋਮ ਗੋਰੇ ਤਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਕੀ ਪਾ ਟਾਂਕਾ ਸੋ ਹੋਈ ਹੋਰੇ ਦੇ ਟਾਂਕਾ ਤੇ ਤੋ ਮਾਰੇ ਤਾਂ ਤਿੰਨ ਤੋਂ ਟਾਂ ਸੋ ਜੇ ਕੋ ਹੋਰੇ ਮਾਰੇ ਤੇਰੇ ਤਿੰਨ ਹਾਂ ਕੋਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਸੇ ਬਥੋ ਆ ਦੇ ਲਿਆ ਹੋਰੇ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਬਥੋ ਆ ਦੇ ਲਿਆ ਹੋਰੇ ਸੋ ਤੇ ਹਾਂ ਕੋ ਗੋਮੇ ਦੇ ਕਾ ਕੋ ਖਾਤਮ ਛੋ ਛੋ ਗੋਮ ਗੋਰੇ ਕਾਤੇ ਛੋ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਲਗੀ ਹੋਏ ਕਾਤੇ ਛੋ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਤਾਂ ਤੋ ਤੋਨੀ ਤੋ ਨਾ ਬੇ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਕਾਤੇ ਛੋ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਪਤੇ ਕਿ ਸਿਮ ਡਮ ਗੋਰੇ ਸਿਮ ਡਮ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਦਾ ਤਾ ਜੀ ਖਾਤਮ ਪਰਵਾਰਾ ਤੋ ਛੋ ਜੋ ਸੋ ਗੋਰੇ ਤੇ ਸਦਾ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਗੋਮ ਤੋ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਾ ਦਾ ਲਗੇ ਕਿ ਤਾਂ ਗੋਮ ਤੋ ਨਾ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਸੇ ਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਇਸ ਬੰਦ ਸੋ ਕਾਂ ਸੋ ਗੋਰੇ ਆ ਤੇਰੇ ਤੇ ਤੂੰ ਗੋ ਪੇਤੀ ਤਾ ਬੜੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਤਾ ਤੇ ਗੋਮ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਤਾ ਬੋਤ ਗੋਮ ਨਾ ਖਾਂ ਕੋਤੇ ਤਾ ਉਹਾਂ ਕੋ ਟਾਰਾ ਮੇ ਗੋਮ ਥਪਾ ਤੇ ਗੋਮ ਤਾ ਨੀ ਬਾ ਦੇ ਤਾ ਤਾ ਨੀ ਡਬ ਹੀ ਨਾ ਇਜੇ ਸੋ ਨੀ ਪਾ ਤਾ ਨੀ ਵਰ ਨੀ ਬਾ ਤੇ ਨੀ ਡਬ ਪਾ ਤਾ ਡਬ ਹੀ ਸੋ ਨੀ ਡਬ ਹੀ ਨਾ ਇਜੇ ਸੋ ਤੇਰੇ ਤੇ ਛਿਪਟ ਕਰ ਰੇ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਨੀ ਨਾ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਨੀ ਜੇ ਹੋ ਜੋਏ ਨੀ ਬਾ ਦੇ ਨਾ ਤਾ ਤਾ ਹਾਂ ਕੋ ਦੇ ਟਾਰਾ ਮੇ ਯੰਗ ਦਾ ਯਾਦ ਗੋਮ ਸਾ ਹੋ ਜਨ ਤੇ ਗੋਮ ਥਪਾ ਤਾ ਸੇ ਦੇ ਤਾ ਯੰਗ ਤਾ ਯਾਦ ਗੋਮ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਦੇ ਤਾ ਮਾ ਚੱਕ ਜੋਏ ਮੈਂ ਬਸ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਗੋਲ ਛੱਤੇ ਹਾਂ ਨਾ ਸਾਮਾ ਜੋ ਗੋਲ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਜੀ ਛੱਤੇ ਯਾਦ ਤਾ ਯਾਦ ਤਾ ਮਾ ਜੋ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਸਾਬਨਾ ਜੋ ਜੇ ਦੇ ਸੰਬਧ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੀ ਕਿ ਜਿਸ ਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਗੋਮ ਗੋ ਜੋਏ ਤੇ ਰਤੇ ਤਾ ਸੇ ਦੇ ਤਾ ਮਾ ਚਾ ਹਾਂ ਕੋ ਸਾ ਲੰਮੀ ਕੋ ਪਰ ਛੱਤਾ ਮੋਣ ਦੇ ਨਾ ਜਕਰ ਛੱਤ ਕੋ ਪੇ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਜੀ ਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਲੀ ਨੂੰ ਲਾਵਦਾ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਰ ਤਾ ਬਾ ਚਾ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਨੀ ਬਾ ਡਪ ਸੋਂ ਸੋ ਨੀ ਬਾ ਡਪ ਸੋਂ ਸੋ ਤੇ ਜੇ ਲੈ ਕਾਲੀ ਕੋ ਨਾ ਲੰਮ 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 ਤੇ ਸੇ ਕੋ ਕੋ ਨਾ ਨੀ ਬਾ ਡਪ ਸੋਂ ਸੋ ਨੀ ਬਚੇ um so we spoke about the uh, nail of sending out light rays and gathering them back uh, and so first we have to habituate to visualizing the mantra garland clearly and then circulating the mantra garland and so and so the, the point is that we habituate to the visualization Now some people consider the number of mantra recitations as most important but that's actually not most important what's important is that you develop an actual feeling um, of the visualization of the mantra garland and in order for the mind to completely focus uh, it's better to visualize very small that actually also is beneficial in realizing the meaning of emptiness so the smaller the visualization the more single point that the mind will be for example in the vajrakalaya practice we visualize the wisdom being at the heart very small the size of a thumb joint so there are the four branches of approach and accomplishment and uh, the first one is the approach so in the, in the approach stage so there's approach there's close approach there's accomplishment and great accomplishment the first is the approach and during the approach stage we must visualize the mantra garland clearly so it is clear in our mind over and over again we visualize it um and uh, so then when the it, it when you when you focus on the single pointedly you're actually purifying your mind by visualizing very clearly for example when you want to refine water so you can make medicine out of it you have to refine <coughs> it again and again so really that which refines that which refines is actually loving kindness and compassion and that should be as the basis and that is what purifies the mind and so that the mind becomes clear like water and when water is very clear then the moon can be reflected in it very clearly so when you are able to visualize anything with great clarity um that is your the measure of accomplishing the first stage the approach <laughs> dolgo da da kongi tujeji bistu so shi 
Shakaporeda ที่ที่ของเราเสียเสียมาพอเตกอนเสียเสียมาพอเตกอนเสียมาพอเตกอนเสียมาพอเตกอนเสียมาพอเตกอนเสียมาพอเตกอนเสียมาพอเตกอน
Um, so in the uh, sutra path, when we visualize that three syllable, so page 20, so we have the three syllable surrounded by the six syllable mantra. So in the sutra path, that's three, three syllable is a white. And now in the um, uh, Vajrayana, um, it is red. And it represents the um, discriminating wisdom the lotus family and it is in the center of a six petaled lotus flower um, and so at the center is the three syllable and then on each of the six petals is one of the um, six mantra syllables so om mani padme hung the center is three and the three is red and so I visualize that very, uh, very um, small. Uh, and now here it says the six syllable mantra is arranged anti clockwise and circles clockwise. So when you set up those syllables, when you first visualize them, they're set up counterclockwise. But then when it begins to circulate, to turn, it turns clockwise. So in the first step, the approach, you visualize that very clearly. When that is very clear, you accomplish the approach stage. Um, so the approach is when any visualization can arise in your mind as completely clear. And then once the mantra garland is completely clear, it begins to slowly turn. So then this lotus flower, these six petals, they begin to turn slowly. And that is then the um, close approach, the second step. Um, so first it, it turns very slowly, um, and then it accelerates and it begins to turn very fast. So fast that you cannot even visualize, visually perceive it any longer. You can't see it, but it gives off the natural sound of the mantra. And your mind is focused single-pointedly. Um, for example, it is just like there's this this game, it's called a, no, a top, but that you can turn. I mean, you turn a top, and a, a cat, for example, a cat becomes completely mesmerized with the turning top, or also a little child, maybe. So the cat focuses on that turning top completely single-pointedly. So you focus just like that. And this turning actually also is similar to a washing machine that cleans your clothing. It purifies the obscurations of your mind. And, and in this way, it is also connected to Chenrezig's compassion and blessings. Uh, so the way in which this practice is accomplished is by virtue of three powers. Uh, first, that is the power of your own intention. So first, you cultivate faith, uh, devotion, faith in the practice, complete uh, trust, 
And then second is the power of Chandrasekhar's great compassion, his great compassionate aspiration. And then third is the power of the Dharma Dhatu. That's the power of the Buddha nature that all sentient beings possess. So that is the, our fundamental nature. Beings are only obscured by adventitious stains. And that is the ice block like mind. So there's the power of your own intention. And if you have this intention of immeasurable love, then instantly you will connect to the second power, which is the power of all the Buddha's great compassion. So in this moment, your mind abides single pointedly on the visualization of the Sri, surrounded by the mantra garland that is arranged clock, uh, counterclockwise and then turns clockwise. So first it turns very slowly and then it begins to turn very fast. And when it becomes so fast that you can no longer visually perceive it, that is then the third stage, the accomplishment. So here it turns so fast that it gives off the natural sound of the mantra. And then from this, the light rays begin to radiate and, and gather back. And so here then, um, think that the light rays that pervade are the light rays of love. A real feeling of love should arise here. Um, a love for all sentient beings that is fully aware of all the suffering and karma of all sentient beings and a feeling that wants to liberate them all from suffering. And also a feeling that understands what is at the root of all their karma and suffering. It is self-grasping. It is a dualistic grasping itself and other. So a very strong feeling should arise at this point of the accomplishment. And then in the fourth step, is for the fourth step is the great accomplishment and so here, then, it becomes all pervasive. So then your mind pervades all of those um, sentient beings, and it eliminates all their suffering. It melts the ice block of their self, their self grasping into water. And they are liberated from the dualistic grasping itself and other. Uh, so all the visualizations that we engage in then um, turn into a pure perception. And so the, the point of the visualization is that ultimately when we accomplish it, we perceive <coughs> all appearances as the deity, all sounds as the mantra, and all mental arisings as the display of primordial wisdom. That is the mind where self and other are inseparable. And so in this way, we must directly experience the basis, the path, and the result within our mind. So in the case of the mantra garland, <coughs> we first visualize the mantra garland single-pointedly. Um, then it begins to turn. Then it turns very fast. Then light rays radiate from it. The light rays of immeasurable love which pervade all sentient beings with immeasurable love and compassion, and then purify all of their karmic visions, imprints, and suffering. So ultimately, all of this, all of this, all suffering of sentient beings is nothing but a karmic imprint. And in reality, does not exist. Just like an ice block does not truly exist as an ice block. It's real nature is actually water. It is just that due to self-grasping, it has become cold and frozen into an ice block. But that self that we grasp at does not really exist. And it is eliminated, or the grasping at it is eliminated through the, the power of love. So you need to understand, experience, and then realize the meaning of this. So that you come to a, a real understanding that this truly benefits sentient beings. This truly pervades all sentient beings with love. So then later in the great accomplishment, then the entire outer universe is seen as 
the palace of the deity and all inner sentient beings are seen as the great compassionate one, as Chen Rizik. So this feeling will then actually arise. So this is how we go through the practice of the approach, the close approach, the accomplishment and the great accomplishment. We engage in various visualizations like this one. So then you might think that, oh, this is what I need to fabricate now. This is what I need to visualize now. But this is not really quite how it is. Um, but what we visualize is actually how things really are. So we are actually approaching um, the reality of things, of, of the world, of the universe. It is said that within the six realms of samsara appear six kinds of Buddhas in their individual forms. Um, and gradually liberate sentient beings through immeasurable love and compassion from the suffering of the six realms of samsara. Now there's this prayer where we say, I will liberate those not liberated, release those not released, and so on. So what it really means is that Gradually, sentient beings are liberated, first from the three lower realms into the three higher realms, 
and then from there they're introduced to the ultimate truth and so forth until they all reach enlightenment. So those Buddhas establish them on this supreme path. So when we engage in this practice of visualization, then we are really familiarizing ourselves with how the universe actually works, how it actually exists. And if we understand that, then through this practice we can attain enlightenment quickly, which is why the Vajrayana is called the swift, the quick path. Whoever understands this will attain enlightenment swiftly. And so here in the text we, we visualize how we transform all sentient beings of the six realms into the noble Chandrasik. And so what is Chandrasik actually? Now, in this world, well, first of all, the six realms of samsara are said to be all nirmanakayas. And within the nirmanakaya sphere, we have pure and impure nirmanakayas. And the dharmakaya and sambhogakaya both are pure aspects. There is the limitless sambhogakaya, pure lands, and so on. And these are all pure. In the nirmanakaya domain, we have pure and impure. We have those who tame and those to be tamed. For example, those who tame are like beings like His Holiness the Dalai Lama or spiritual masters who appear as human beings. But then also we find them, for example, even in the animal realm. There's those animals who help one another with loving kindness. Even though they have the body of an animal, um, they um, still benefit others. Also, science actually has concluded that. And so that is why it is said that in each of the six realms, what a Buddha appears, the Buddha appears to act for the benefit of sentient beings. So in other words, um, they do not necessarily have to be a spiritual master sitting on a throne. It can be anyone who protects sentient beings with love and compassion who sees all sentient beings in the six realms like a mother sees her child. Um, so that is the meaning of this, the, the visualization. And so when you, when you engage in this visualization, think that this is how things really actually are. So first understand that, um, then experience that, and finally realize that. So after you have understood that and you experience that, um, you develop a feeling of how the universe actually functions, how it works, what is really samsara and nirvana, and how we ultimately attain enlightenment. And so the purpose of the sadhana, therefore, is to familiarize ourselves with that, to understand how the universe actually works, how it all exists. And whoever realizes it will quickly attain enlightenment <coughs> through the Vajrayana path. The Vajrayana path is the path that is rich in skillful means and a swift path to enlightenment. Um, so that is the purpose now also of these four levels of approach and accomplishment. So we proceed through these four levels on an experiential level. So we, meaning that we need to experience each of these four levels. So we need to go on the path, uh, progress along the path experientially, really experience the path. Also when we practice Mahamudra, for example, we go through a sequence of the four yogas of Mahamudra in order to realize the nature of the mind. Um, and that's very similar to those four branches of approach and accomplishment. So basically the mind uh, becomes purified increasingly more. So the mind becomes increasingly pure as we progress along these different levels of the path, such as the path of Mahamudra. And then eventually the qualities of Mahamudra or the, that path will, be, will emerge, will become apparent. So that is the important point here about the sadhana. So for today, I will stop the instructions here. The Akonotri, so sorry, you did your toy, or you did make it here, or 
，对，我是啷个错了？要来讲来呢，老二都是这个控制的，他妈这个差不要来的。你你家里这个人，老板在这里，他们买一百的呢，呃，老大金币，几金，这民工金币 ，M 级，这老子话的，家看不来个，心里他气的了。嗯，起码这个星期做好了，这一天弄好了，这平板都可以用的，刚刚才可以用的。这他们这设计都那个设计经验，他们这你这设计啊，这都是普通的，这这这把认识哦，你认识就把你理解的，说了你这个普通的经验都认识，普通的这这种嘛认识，我那这都错啊，这都可以。然后这那这这这种嘛，这三十几样经验的，你这设计你这咋就把这下过做的嘛？这里这都是。嘛，对不对？你我对我那里，你对他们这里差不多，就这个个差不多。这他们就打浪打浪的人，行了。这两个生活的，呃，马大伯、大姨、阿姨啦，是吧？娘都弄的，这里有嘛？娘都是打浪的，这里，呃，他讲平口的，马大伯我是打罗语的，呃，他不是阿姐打罗的，阿姐你不了，这里一日天不见了，这里两个阿姐打个语的，别阿姐今年我差差不多了，对。这里进了，可把当时啊进了，变了。说不着这个金子，我这个金子上面没钱，把这个金子用点钱呢。哦，这里这个人生不晓得啊，这里个金子去又把，这里个金子用点那个零钱吧，用点这他们就不要了。这里打那个过去的，打那个过去就完了。这里过去不是打不得哩。哦，这里就是这这种嘛，他们年纪上做个的，做啥个门差进有了，啥事啊，啥做事，上这来的。这米是个女的上，就吃用了。这辣的什么的哩？哦，打牛啊，他们这辣，打瓜他们啊，这哎，打这里这里瓜，这里菜用过的，你把这阿哥呀，有的，这他他的哎，那是鸡种的，然后这是公打，这这叫打叉烧。嗯 ，so when you understand all of this, then. Um, real qualities arise from from that. It is like your eyes are opening up to the reality. And also, I myself, for example, I really have um, a strong feeling about it, an experience. For example, when we say that the six realms of samsara are nirmanakaya, are all pervaded by nirmanakaya. So one special personal experience in this regard is, for example, when I think about school teachers, or doctors in a hospital, or government officials. Most of them all, most of them benefit and bring happiness to sentient beings and try to eliminate sentient beings' suffering. And so I personally therefore see any male with compassion as Tunrezik and any female with compassion as Tara. And a real, when you think about this, a real feeling can actually arise of how this is actually true. Because this is the nature of Tara and Terezic. It is love and compassion. If you understand that while reciting the mantra, you will think that this is how it really is. The entire world is pervaded by Nirmana Kayas. And in this way, a pure perception will arise in your mind. And dualistic grasping, and in particular the affliction of pride, will diminish. So um, the, a pure perception towards anyone will purify all impure perception, and especially it has a great effect on eliminating pride. The antidote to pride is to show great respect to others for example, which is why we say the antidote to pride is offer prostration. Um, so to be respectful toward others, to, to see their good qualities, like a school teacher or a doctor and so on. When I think about the great qualities of others, then the pr my pride will diminish and my mind will become peaceful and happy. And then trust in a teacher, for example, will arise. And when I trust a teacher, I will be able to receive that teacher's qualities. So we need to open up our mind through a pure perception in this way. And so for that, we first should recognize that all males with compassion are Chinresic and all females with compassion are Tara. 
really an, they are an emanation of compassion. Even though there are hundreds and thousands of different deities, the essence of all deities is bodhicitta. Therefore, whoever possesses bodhicitta is the actual deity. When you recognize that, this is how all appearances will begin to appear as the deity and how you will hear all sounds as the mantra. And this is then when you will really recognize the power, the actual power of the practice. So, uh, sorry, this is what I forgot to mention before, but now I'm really done. Om From emptiness arises a drum syllable that transforms into a precious container. The initial letters of each of the offerings appear and then transform into the offering substances with the nature of emptiness. Through contemplation, they transform into an unlimited cloud of offerings, which has the power to produce never-ending happiness. Oh, 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 oh,
A thousand arms are a thousand Chakravartin kings. A thousand eyes are a thousand Buddhas of this fortunate eon, manifesting whatever is needed to train those to be trained. I praise and prostrate to Zumbach and Rizik. To all those worthy of praise, I always bow with bodies countless as dust particles. I praise you with supreme faith. Bottom, but 
Sabarevare edan balayda gaga gaga Gum bencerim olan kuru parım para Sabarevare edan balayda gaga gaga Gum bencerim olan kuru parım para Sabarevare edan balayda gaga gaga Gaya o ayalı gaya gaya edan balayda gaga gaga O aya loge jore sabare vare edam balenda gaga gaye ga O aya loge jore sabare edam balenda gaga gaye ga Om devan dai gana sabare edam balenda gaga gaye ga Om devan dai gana sabare vare edam balenda gaga gaye ga Om devan dai gana sabare Yedam balenda gaga gaye gaye Om dama pala rakhe sabare Yedam balenda gaga gaye gaye Om dama pala rakhe sabare vare Yedam balenda gaga gaye gaye we go to the concise Genresic text, the Bringing Down Blessings on page 27. From the life force hung at the heart of myself, visualized as the deity, radiates light, invoking the enlightened mind of the guru, knowledge holders, and three roots. They all appear like billowing clouds and bestow blessings, empowerment, and cities, and perform enlightened deeds.
Please wait a moment for announcements. 